Hey folks, John with Complete Technology Solutions, your friend in less than lethal self-defense. It finally came in, guys. It finally came in. I've been waiting, I've been waiting. Let's play with it. Here we go. All right, all right. You guys know me well enough to know that if I get excited about something, there's usually something to be excited about. And you also know that our friends at Berna have been promising and promising to send us the launcher. And we finally got it. Now, I haven't even opened this. All I know is what's in the box because I saw it on my email, but I have no idea what this looks like. I don't know what model it is, except that I know that it's well. You saw the description. So let's crack this thing open, shall we? We're going to do it together. By the way, guys, I was out of town last week. Um, it was a fun week. We're out, out, actually out in California. Work job, believe it or not. It was actually a work trip. Uh, and got out of there just before all of the uh, rain and the earthquake started. So, yeah, fortunately we missed all that. But we are back safe. And I have got a slate of videos for you guys, let me tell you. So, all right. Let's see what our friends at Berna sent me. It's about time. Man, I have been jonesing to get this video done for you guys. All right. Cracking her open. And we've got a packing. Ooh, you don't get to see that. That's a packing list. Yeah. All right. Going from the inside here, we got a pile of paper. Man, I have been wanting paper for whatever. Oh, wow, guys. Check this out. So they sent me some of the Berna Kinetic Rounds. Now, I did not request any of what you're seeing in the top of this box here. Um, however, this will give us a nice stable uh, test to test not only this launcher, but this launcher against other launchers. So that's actually pretty cool. And they are, yeah, standard. They are the standard Berna Kinetics. They don't have a weight on there, but you better believe we're going to weigh them. So there you go. Looks like they sent us a bunch of Berna. Are they Berna branded CO2? I didn't even know Berna had branded CO2. And no, they do not look like they are Berna branded. So they're just regular generic 12 gram CO2s. Look at me, I was getting all excited. That one says oil. And that's the only one that says oil. What in the world is that all about? That's kind of interesting. All right. It doesn't say anything about it, it just says 12 gram. All right, looks like we got a bunch of those. I've got to know if the another one says oil. Let me look at this. Yeah, one says oil. That's weird. I wonder if one of them contains more oil than the rest of them. I'm going to have to do some research on that one, guys. All right. Looks like we got five boxes there. Oh, and there's the launcher. There she blows. All right. Let's get the box out of here. Oh, they sent us the LE. Okay. They, uh, if it's by the picture, we got the orange LE. Now, that's fine. I Honestly... That didn't matter to me, but I have wanted to test this LE since the day I heard it was coming out. So, all right, let's crack it open here. Man, nobody packages better than Berna. That's one thing I got to tell you. Everybody here knows that I'm a Berna fan. So, let's see what this bad boy looks like. Oh, nice. All right, so just like in every other Berna, guys, you're going to get two standard 12-gram CO2 cartridges. You're going to get your pepper ball rounds. You're going to get your kinetic rounds, and you're going to get what looks like standard practice rounds. Now, these are eco-kinetic. So when these hit, they're going to break and, I guess, dissolve is the idea. These will not dissolve. They will just hit your target and bounce really hard because it's going to hurt. And then, of course, you get these things, which are the Berna pepper rounds. Um, I am going to contact Berna, guys, because something I am very curious about about these is the makeup and the content of the uh, the pepper balls themselves i know the burna max um has got a certain concentration of pava but i don't think it's quite as high as some other brands but i will verify that so yeah and you do get an extra magazine which is nice all magazines are interchangeable which is really nice between all their weapons and there's the le itself all right, guys, so you can see by the uh, the size of it, it's almost exactly the same as you've seen my burner. I've got actually one in my car, but I keep a couple of them right down here behind me. And if you, you want to know that I'm a fan, I am definitely a fan. So look here. This is the SD version with the XL extender on there. And as you can see, they are identical. So it is the exact same size, same trigger mechanism on there. They are the same. Same magazine. 
same Picatinny rail. So they're almost identical as far as, well, actually, they are identical as far as that looks. You know, one thing that bothers me, and I mean, maybe you guys can kind of get down with me on this. Um, I don't know why Berna, and, and I mean, you could see you had to have the extension on that one. I added that on. I don't know why Berna didn't just build this into the launcher itself. I mean, build it into it and make it one piece. It would have been a little more cost effective, I would think, to build just one unit and have it molded. But who knows? Maybe in future they'll do something like that. But all right, you guys have seen this a thousand times, so we're going to do it together. Drop the mag. We're going to load in some kinetic rounds. And these are the same rounds that are in here, guys. So before we do that, let's, um, let's weigh these things out and see what they actually weigh so we can get a nice round test. All right, they are... 2.9 grams. So the kinetic rounds are 2.9. That way we'll be able to get our uh, uh, joule rating off this thing once we get some uh, speed readings out here. All right, tell you what, let's go ahead and load them up. And we're going to go and see. There we go, five rounds. That's interesting. They give you five rounds, but a seven round magazine. So that's kind of strange. They give you five rounds but it's a seven round magazine which is actually kind of cool so and i'm assuming that's the staggered round so we're going to go ahead and load these in here and see what that looks like three four five look at that kind of a, a, a strange stagger pattern there right but that's because we need more rounds so let's go ahead and get six and seven out of here and you know what? Just to be sure, I know it's going to weigh the same. I know you guys are thinking I'm being a little overly cautious here. Actually, that weighs in at three grams. Interesting. Out of curiosity. Whoa. Guys, that is... Okay, you wouldn't believe me if I didn't show you this. So look. Here is our scale. Okay? We're going to go ahead and zero it out right now. So we're zeroed out. Okay? This is the one that came in the box. And as you can see, 2.9 grams. And hopefully Stumpy is getting a view of that. All right, in fact, let me, let me zoom you in there. I want you to see this. All right, 2.9 grams on this one, okay? Now, here's the kicker. This is one of them that is in the, now they look identical, guys. This is one of them that's actually in that jar, though. And it weighs exactly three grams. Now, let me pull another one out of that jar. Three grams. So these that come in here are lighter. So we're not actually going to use those for the testing. Let me drop those out. And we're going to keep those in the kit. Don't ask me why that is the case. That makes no sense to me whatsoever, but okay. So yeah, that 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 actually is kind of interesting. I'm, I'm going to have to ask him about that one too. Look, exactly six grams with two of them. Strange. All right. So we're going to test with the magazine itself using the three gram balls. Two, three, and four, five, and six. Man, that, that really kind of creeps me out. I'm, I'm trying to figure out why in the world that would be the case. I didn't see anything in the documentation that would indicate that that was the way it is either. And as you can see, guys, how those are staggered in there. All right, so that's how they got around the seven rounds with the same size magazine. They staggered the rounds in there. Now, one thing about it that's interesting, guys, and a lot of you guys have done this. I've done this. When you were limited to the five rounds, what I would do is I would hot load one round. So put the top one in there, lock it into the chamber, and then hot load the magazine so you had one up there. It did create tension against that first round, and in some pepper balls, over time, it could cause the pepper ball itself to crack. Um this solves that problem with seven rounds, but you don't want to hot load it because you can see, guys, look at that spring. It is compressed tight against the bottom there. So you don't want to hot load that other round in there. So you're going to get seven, all right? Now, in order to load the CO2, we're going to go ahead and we're going to unscrew here. We're going to use the magazine. By the way, you'll notice one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven loaded up in there, locked into place. All right, we're going to use the Allen key on the back of the magazine, and we're going to unscrew here. There we go. 
we're going to take our 12 gram CO2 cartridge. There we go. And we're going to place it in the weapon nozzle down. Now for this test, I'm not actually going to put the gun oil on this one for this test, guys. Um, but normally I would put uh, some marker oil on there or like a Pell gun oil. Um, actually, lately I've been staying away from Pell because it's petroleum based and I'm a little bit concerned about that. Although I don't have any evidence one way or the other, but I am a little concerned that it could cause the uh, uh, premature wearing of some of the seals. So, all right. So we're going to put that down there and close that down. You do not have to crank that, guys. You just have to get it snug. All right. We're going to put our magazine in. And at this point, we're ready to go. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's move out to the range here. Let's use our uh, chrono and let's see what kind of uh, FPS ratings we're getting out of a three gram ball, which we now know is three grams. Here we go. Okay, guys. So as you can see, we've actually got a news. We got a, we have a scully down there, but as you can see, he's decided to go safety conscious and he's wearing an airsoft mask to defend himself against these evil rounds. So let's see what that does. We got our chrono set up here. We're zeroed out. And once again, guys, I'm going to try to keep this shot right over the bow so you guys can see the shot and Scully down there. And I think I've got him at just the right height to uh, give us a good reading. So, all right. So once we've got this in here, you'll notice you do have a fire and a safe on this, which I think is kind of interesting because on the uh, um, essential pistol, you didn't. They actually eliminated that. So let's go ahead and we're going to put leave it on safe and we're going to charge the weapon. There you go. And it's charged. Now, guys, if you pull that trigger on fire the first time and you can, it will send, send the round downrange at about half velocity. So we're, we put it on safe. We charged it. Now we're going to put it on fire and glasses on and we're going to take a shot at both scully but we're also going to see if we can get us an fps reading here we go four six whoa four sixty one uh three sixty nine three twenty nine i'm going to go a little lower on the mask if i can three twenty nine as an error three thirty nine 314, 357, and we should be out. Yep, we're out. Holy cow, guys. Let me, glasses off. Uh, that first shot obliterated the entire side of the mask. Oh my gosh, guys. And embedded in Scully. You know what? Uh, wow. Uh,. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Here we go. Watch with me. We blew the entire front of the mask off and embedded in Scully. Look, there's one of the balls. <laughs> okay, so I'm not questioning the power potential. Um, one thing I would like to see, though, so the mask itself... This is actually like a, a, a polycarbonate. They use these in airsoft to protect people's eyes. Um, needless to say, we're firing a lot more mass than an airsoft gun, so obviously that's going to be a little different. But let me load up seven more rounds and try something a little bit different. Hang on one second here. All right, guys, so what I'm going to try to do is hit right in this area. The bottom is going to be flexible, and if I hit that, it might actually bounce. But I'm curious if I hit closer to the nose, if we can actually get penetration through this thing. Uh, from this range. So what I want to do is I'm going to move you guys as close up as I possibly can and let you see the hit if I get one. I'm going to try, guys. All right, so once again, I'm aiming right here, but I'm going to fire from our regular firing position, which is, you know what, let's pace this off. Let's do this, do this fair so we know what we got. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. So eight Eight paces, about 24 feet. That's what we're testing for. All right, so here we go. Here we go. All right, what did we do here? <laughs> oh, poor sc Guys, are you seeing this? Oh my gosh, look at the mask. Oh, look at Scully. We removed his jaw. 
Oh, poor skull. The guys, that went right through that at 24 feet. Uh, stopping power much? Just a tad. Let's go back in the office. I want to talk about this for a sec because there's a couple other cool things about it I noticed. Holy cow. Poor Scully. I think he's going to need a dentist visit. Here we go. Well, uh, okay. There is no secret that I'm a Berna fan. I always have been. These guys are the OG when it comes to launchers and self-defense. Um, that first shot, guys, coming out at 460 feet per second, three grand ball, that's right at 30 joules. And I'm talking like right at 30 joules um, right off the bat. Now, after that, of course, it tamed down a little bit. The subsequent shot was right around that 18 to 20 joule range. But that first round out of this thing was a beast. Uh, you saw what it did to an airsoft mask. That is designed for protection from things firing airsoft BBs at 300 feet per second on average, 350, maybe even 400 feet per second to, to protect you from that. And it went right through that like it was butter. And you saw at 24 feet how I was able to hold it on target and drill the target at 24 feet and went right through that thing every single time. And poor Scully, man. I... You know what? I think we ought to take a second, give a a, 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 a a little thought for Scully. Okay, he's had enough. We'll make his brother for the next shoot. Hey, guys, this is awesome. Um, I have zero complaints about this, except that it's in orange. I kind of wish it was the black version. But Berna, love for you guys. You know that. Uh, all, the viewers out there, if you've ever used a Berna, you know they're fantastic launchers. Um, I did not expect this to be any less than awesome. I will tell you, that is much more powerful than the uh, SP that you saw earlier. Um, if you didn't see that video, I'll drop a link up here for you. It is definitely more powerful. This would stop anybody, I don't care who you are, and you add in a one of the pepper balls or another quality pepper ball, and you all know what I'm talking about, game is over. This is definitely a, a very, 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 Brutal machine right out of the box, no mods necessary. But once again, with Berna, you know the drill, you get what you pay for. So, you know, you can take a Humorex weapon and you can create this, but you're going to have to put a little bit of work into it, a little bit of money into it, whereas this out of the box, ready to rock and roll. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is going to spawn an entire series of verses, and boy, do I have some plans on what I'm putting it against, including. Uh, a newly modified HDR 68. Now, I'm going to let you in a little secret. We're going to start doing a series on my personal launchers. Um, you guys know that it is never my goal to turn a non-lethal into a lethal. It defeats the purpose. However, I do have my own personal collection of these that I toy around with. So, we're going to start doing some of my own personal upgrades on here so you can see the weapons that I carry. And the wall back here is going to stay the studio for the gaming and stuff by the way if you haven't visited that channel guys please go check it out it costs you zero to go check out that channel and i've got another video dropping tonight we're going to be doing more gameplays on it and a whole bunch more geeky computer talk so you'll get a kick out of that and you get to spend more time with me what could be better have a great week guys and we'll see you soon Bye bye